Hey, welcome back. It's me, Karen. If you guys want to learn how I created this look, let's begin. I'm starting off with prepping my face and moisturizing it so that I have a smooth surface to apply my foundation on. Now I'm going to take my MAC Next to Nothing foundation, dotting it all over my face and using my paddle brush from Jouer. I love this brush because it has a pointy tip which allows you to get into the deep parts of your eye area or your nose. Now I'm going to be applying this Tarte bronzer all around the perimeter of my face to warm up my face. And I'm doing this because I'm going to be putting on a wig later and it'll be really hard to do so. Then taking my Tarte Favorite Shape Tape Concealer, I'm applying it to my problem areas and just blending it out with this Pure Cosmetics Paddle Brush. We're here for the fun part. I'm putting on my wig from rpgshow.com. It's actually a website Sydney showed me and they have really great thick human hair wigs. I'm applying concealer to the hairline so that it blends seamlessly with my own. Next, I'm taking Anastasia Dep Brow in the color taupe and drawing out a straight brow. I like to follow the natural direction my hair grows in for a natural application, and I'm drawing in a strokes in front of my brow for a bushier look. Now taking this Shape Tape Concealer once again, using a flat brush, I'm going to clean up any edges so that I have a really nice carved out brow. Now I'm setting my eyes with a nude shadow and applying Peach Tea from the Just Peachy Velvet Matte Palette by Too Faced all over my lids. And I'm using a really cute Sailor Moon eyeshadow brush to do this. This look is all about making it look natural and blended, so use a clean fluffy brush and just smooth out and blend out that eyeshadow. Taking Chocolate Dip from the palette, it is the darkest shade. With a inner V motion, we're going to bring the brown back in and smooth it out so that it has a nice smoky touch to it. Now we're gonna take a clean fluffy brush again and we're gonna go ahead and blend peach tea and this dark color together so that it looks seamless on your eyes. Going back into Anastasia's Dip Brown, the color taupe, I'm taking this color and applying it to my upper lash line. Taking the darkest eyeshadow color, I'm applying it to my upper lash line and blending it with the eyeliner for a softer look. At this point, I felt like the eyeshadow wasn't dark enough, so I took the darkest shadow color again and I'm blending it in with a V motion. Okay, so reaching for the dip brow and taupe again, I'm going to line my lower lash line and rather than following the natural shape of my eye, I'm actually extending the tail of the liner to open up my eye and make it look bigger. I'm adding a little twinkle to my eyes with the color pearl from the Violet Voss Rainbow Palette and I'm setting it right underneath where our liner sits. Then using Tarte's Light Camera Mascara, I'm coating my lashes generously to open up my eyes. I really wanted to make this look wearable and everyday but I love lashes to death so I reached for these lashes from Kiss and they're super natural looking. Don't forget to curl the real ones and the fake ones together. And I actually really love this step because it does open up your eyes even more and make your eyelashes look super perky. I'm taking this 3CE blush cushion that can also be used as a contour color and I'm actually applying all over my face because it is light enough where it gives me a very nice and natural glowy warm finish. Now I'm going to brighten up my cheeks by using Anastasia's blush kit in the color Coastline and this color has such a nice warm orange undertone to it which just makes you look super warm and flushed. Reaching back to my Tarte bronzer, this is in the Color Park Ave Princess. I'm using this to give more dimension to my nose and thus giving my face the appearance that it has more depth. Using a more precise contour brush, I'm picking up the bronzer again and applying to my cheekbones so that it looks more prominent. Then using a fluffier brush, I'm softening up any harsh lines that I may have made earlier.
Making Fenty Beauty's Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. I'm using the colors Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal and applying it onto the tip of my nose, my nose bridge, as well as my cheekbones. Guys, this color is so pretty from L'Oreal and it's a drugstore lipstick called He Thinks He's Macho. Get the pun. Anyway, it's so pretty. I love this color so much and the beauty of it is that it's non-drying and it's matte and it's cheap and it's from the drugstore. It's time to seal in all the hard work we did with this Tarte Loose Powder that I'm just dusting lightly over my face with a big old fluffy powder brush. Finally, I wanted to show you guys the nail polish I have on my nails. It's in the color What a Gem, and I think it just goes so well with my makeup look today. It's very neutral, and it's nice, shimmery, and really, really pretty. This is the final look, and if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I will be uploading every Friday and Sunday. See you guys then. Bye! Don't stop.